Okay, we're recording. You are being recorded. Welcome everyone to the Hancock Park Referral Network. It is Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. A happy Thanksgiving week. Uh, we're going to start off with the Latip Creed. John Chadbourne, could you read the Latip Creed for us? Good morning. Latip is a professional orga organization of men and women dedicated to the highest standards of competence and service. Our purpose is the exchange of business tips. Members will, at all times, maintain the highest professional integrity. Each business category is represented by one member only, and conflicts of interest are disallowed. Great. Thank you very much. Um, Antonio, would you read the definition of a tip? Definition of a tip is a qualified tip. A qualified business tip is a company or person who is interested in a specific service or product and is expecting a call from a Hancock Park Referral Network member. Beautiful. Fantastic. So we are now going to go into our regular program. Today's program is made up. Uh, I'm going to do a I'm going to try to redo my showboat, which uh, didn't go well the last time when I took over Zoom about two or three months ago. So I'm going to redo that. And then we're going to move into visitations. And then we're going to talk about, Jimmy, what was it? We're going to talk about the three, give to, three to give, three to get. Yes. We'll do, then we'll do commercials. We'll log off. And from 8 to 8.30, we'll spend a half hour uh, working with our partner on uh, invitations. All right. So Jimmy, I'm gonna take over the uh, screen here. I'm allowed to do that, yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, can you guys see this? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Did it right the first time. So, Yay. okay. So if you guys, you know, all of us can probably find each other online probably the best way to do it uh, is just to type in my name and uh, let's see what happens. Google Banker. Uh, if I go down here, here's Zillow, Eric Flexner. So here's me. And if I go down, you can see my past listings and sales. Hi there, Cynthia. Welcome. Good morning. And you can see that right now- Technical that, difficulty, sorry. That's okay. And you can see that right now I have active, I have four listings here and just listed one. These are past sales. Um, and then these are reviews. I just had a beautiful review view given yesterday or this weekend, I guess, uh, with a client on Windsor who is who hired us to sell his mother's house. His mother's 93, he moved her to a nursing home and the house has, she bought it in 1961, hasn't been remodeled since. So we spent a month um, taking this house that was already gonna be sold and making it worth more uh, with what we had. So um, in the end, what we did was we redid the floors, we painted the house and we, um, staged it those three things only redo the floors paint and staging and we took a house that's probably worth about 1.45 and instead uh got 12 offers bid it up and we're going to be closing i think th today for a million this is after inspections after requests for repairs for a million six ninety so they made $250,000 off of a $29,000 investment in paint, uh, floors, and staging. That's, that's the power of a real estate agent versus you know winging it, uh, having a concerted uh, system. Uh, they made an extra 250,000 minus the 29. So very proud of that. They gave me a great review. This is my new listing here, 432 South Lucerne. This is one of the nicest houses I've ever listed in my 20 year career. Um, so I'm really excited about it. It's a 
3,400 plus square foot, 1915 craftsmen in the literally the most perfect part, right between fourth and fifth uh, of Lucerne, uh, north of Wilshire. So it's just a quiet little section and <clears throat> It has a huge lot, 14,430 square feet. And we did the same thing with this house. You know, in the future, I'll show you some of the things that we do as far as getting a house ready. But this house was bought in 1984 and not much was done to it until two months ago when they hired me and we came in, including D. D. Murphy, our previous interior designer, who I introduced to them and they hired to redesign everything is what she does is she comes in and does the paint, the floors, the, you know, the design, the look, the, you know, bath, you'll never recognize the bathroom when I show it to you uh, with the wallpaper that she likes. Um, just did a beautiful job. The clients were so happy and it made the house look like an extra million bucks. So here are some photos. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember, but Wade, the drone guy who was who who came to the meeting a couple of times he he did the photos nice redid the fireplace we had it it, it had been painted we stripped it All this stuff is these, uh, D, you know, all the, uh, we had the staging, but then all the colors, the look up here, the, the chandelier here, all the fixtures. There's another room by her, the colors. I like that color. Kitchen. Very historic home. So this is the original bathroom, 1915. Can you imagine 1915, what it was like? People were still, I could very well still have been on horses to a certain degree. Oh yeah. So, you know, where do you keep your horse? <laughs> here's, here's this uh, wallpaper that she absolutely adores. Mm. Got the, uh, it's got the <clears throat> leaves. Oh, Let's see. Was that the last one? Hmm. Anyway, so <clears throat> let me go back. What did I do? There we go. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the purpose of this is to show you the new listing, 3,895,000, uh, three beds, four baths, roughly 3,500 square feet, on a 14,000 square foot plus lot in the best location of Windsor Square. Um, <clears throat> pool in the back. There's a beautiful night shot that Wade took. Backyard. There's a drone shot of the backyard. So big backyard, almost resort style. <clears throat> Total price, $3,895,000. Um, <clears throat> if any of you are interested in seeing it, let me know. I'm showing it all the time. All right. Um, <clears throat> so the point of this is, you know, if you know anybody who is thinking of moving, has a house that is not ready to go, uh, the concept of getting it ready to go is, you know, not in your friend or client's uh, sphere or they just don't know where to even start this is part of my job all you need to do is introduce me and i can help them uh and the reason the the the, the, the way that i describe it to my clients is you know you're going to spend some money to get the house ready look at it as an investment you're selling the house so here's an opportunity to for you to actually have a little side business and make a little extra money with a small amount of money so let's say this house was originally worth 3.5. You know, if we can get 3.9 with a $30,000, $40,000 investment, you know, that's a pretty good investment that you could probably not find anywhere else if you were to go out into the marketplace. 
30, 40,000, you get a $400,000 return. That's an investment you can't find anywhere. This is an opportunity to make that investment on top of the fact that you're gonna be getting 3.5 million. And the idea is to only put money into things that are gonna give you at least twice the return. So if I'm going to do the floors and it's gonna cost me 20,000, I need to know before I even start, or my client needs to know that they're gonna make 40 off of that $20,000 investment or more. If they're not gonna make 30, 40,000 off of a 20,000 investment, don't do it. Don't go through the hassle of the contractor and the time and the cleaning and all the things that are required if you're not really gonna make any money on it, right? So there are many things that you can do that won't give you a dime back. And there are some things that you can do that will give you 10 times back. And, and those typically are floors, paint, and staging, okay? So these are some of the things I go through with my clients to help them get ready and to kill it on the marketplace. Do you guys have any questions? No, sir. I have a question, Eric. Yeah. What, what is the staging cost for that? The staging for a house like this is $20,000. And <clears throat> had it not been staged, um, then it would be worth less by much more than 20000 The uh, The return on staging, I always tell my clients, is, you know, probably at least three to five times. So it's silly not to invest in staging when you're selling your house. If you're gonna invest 20,000 and you're gonna get back in a $100,000 for that 20,000 investment and you're gonna make the buyer more excited, they're gonna stay in escrow, they're not gonna mess around, they're gonna be in love with the house, they're not gonna grind you and all those things because it's so pretty, um, that's, an, that's, a, that's a heck of an investment prior to your uh, going on market. Does that make sense? Same with floors. You put in 20 grand, you should get at least 100 back. Paint, same thing. I mean, on a house this big. So that's how we ended up with 400,000 over the 3.5. Any other questions? How long are you anticipating this to be on the market? God, you know, 3.9 million is not everybody's price range. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, uh, it, it could go this week or it could go in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. um, the good news about the area is that they very rarely, most of the time people, these houses are heirlooms. They pass them down from generation to generation. So you just don't flat out see anything right. in this area. And if you do, it's over 4 million. So we're counting on that to help drive business to us. Um, the one, you know, every house has its great and some things uh, that are not as great. <clears throat> this house has absolutely everything, location, everything, check, 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 all the boxes. It does have three bedrooms. Some of these houses have four, so that's uh, not as many as some, but also if you're at four bedrooms or more, usually you're over $4 million. Any other questions? Hey, Eric, um, do you see any value in a home of this age that keeps the original appointments? Uh, is that is there any market value for them for them to do that? To keep the original, uh... like the original hardware, if they have uh, stained glass uh, windows, um, yeah. uh, wrought iron, uh, wrought iron uh, staircases, that kind of thing. You know, it's a it's a great question, and it, 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 you know, I don't want to say it depends, but let's say somebody, you know, in these houses, 105 years old, there have been people that have come through this, you know, families and done their thing. And so if this house had been 60%, 50% redone, then very likely we would have redone the rest. But mm -hmm. this house, 1915, hadn't had a whole lot of things redone. It was just kept in great shape. So here we have a historic home, you know, like I said, with the, uh, like you can see with the bathroom and things like that. So there are buyers out there who really value historic and it's hard to find because over the years, things get fixed up, you know, they redo the kitchen, they replace this or that, and you end up not with the same historic home. So we decided on this house with the clients that the best investment of our time and money was to put it back 
to what it was as, to, as opposed to pushing it forward and spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands. We spent, you know, less and we got what we think is going to be the best uh, price for our investment. But, you know, we could spend a whole lot more money and, and charge four and a half million, but it's going to cost us to get there. Personally, I love the historic. I just, yeah. if I can keep it historic, that's what I'm, and that was what these, uh, these sellers wanted to do. Beautiful job. It's gorgeous. Any other questions? I don't have a question. That fireplace is just so stunning. I love that. I'm trying to find my, here's my arrow. Yeah, it is a uh, very, you know, you don't see batch elder fireplaces this big very often. Look at the size of that thing. Usually it's just up to the mantle, but this one goes all the way up nearly to the ceiling. Is that, is that confirmed a batch elder? Yeah. So zoom in on the tile. Yeah, so the reason why we believe it's a batch elder. Tile. Yeah, I can't go in any farther. Okay. The reason why we uh, believe it's a batch elder is because we found um, these, where am I? Well, we've, we found some of the, 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 it has some special peacock tiles uh, that we found in the Batch Elder archives. So we believe that that, that peacock gives it away that it was an, it's a Batch Elder. And they had painted over that? Somebody had painted over it, yeah. What a shame. Yeah. So we, we stripped it. Um, any other questions? So just remember, my job is not just to sell for as much as possible, but to help you, your clients, your friends, your neighbors, to on top of that price, get more. You know, what can we do to get as much as possible with as little as possible? And in the case of the house on Windsor, that was a million four fifty house, a million six ninety, 12 offers. You know, that's not because the market is hot. It's because we produced a product that was hot. And same with this one, you know, uh, the difference will be more than $250,000 in, in my client's pocket. Okay, good. Any, any, any last stuff? Eric, do you have a, do you use the same people usually when you're doing this stuff? Are you, are you act as a, a ma project manager? How, how does that work? I'm, I am whatever needs to happen. So, um, in both of these cases, the Windsor House and the Lucerne House, uh, the sellers were fairly proactive. So I referred them, you know, D, I referred them a floor guy, I referred them a um, painter and so on. Uh, and then they had the work done and I sort of, you know, watched and advised as things were needed. You know, what, what should we do here? What should we do there? I'm sort of the guy that helps them understand you know, what the market is looking for as to, as opposed to, you know, you can get stuck doing too many things because you're almost doing it for yourself, even though you're about to sell, you know, it's just something that you love. And then next thing you know, you spent a bunch of money that didn't matter. <clears throat> so, yeah. So uh, in other cases, uh, I will from start to finish be the manager. You know, uh, I will basically introduce them to the contractor, the painter, the whatever, they'll, they'll have a relationship with each other. Uh, they'll agree on some sort of payment. And then that contractor will come to me and then I will guide him through the house. So it just depends on what is needed and what the sellers are able or, or not able to do themselves. Anything else? All right, shall we jump into the breakout rooms? Yes. Oh, I didn't set them up. And how many of us are there today? How many are there? Six of us right now? Seven. Seven. Six of us. Okay. So, um, all right, let me, I'm sorry. I thought I set them up and I did not. Okay, Antonio, you and Cynthia are going to be in a room. And Eric and Jim awesome are going questions. to be in a room. Okay. Hey, 
And John, you and I are going to be in a room. Okay. And guys, remember last time we're going to do five minutes each. So uh, when you get down to 30 seconds, you're going to, uh, you'll see a little timer pop up and then hop back in the room and uh, jump in there with your visitation partner and find out something interesting. So Jimmy, should I just interview myself? Did I not put you in a room? <laughs> no. I did. I'm sorry, Alicia. I'm going to put you in the room with John then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, I don't know what happened here. There you go. All right, you guys, hop in those rooms and we'll see you back in 10 minutes. Mr. Flexner. Hola, how are you? Good, Jim, how you doing? Jim and I, were... uh, I'm better than ever. <laughs> Great, yeah, well, you're up there in the freaking snow in Colorado, I love it, that's, I'm envious, man. Are you gonna ski? You know, I think on this trip, because of everything, you know, one in 49 people in the state are contagious with COVID. Okay. You got that many? sounds like a lot, is that a lot? Is that more than LA? Well, I think it is more, I think it's a lot more than Los Angeles. Yeah. Time. So we're what are we talking about? Are we talking about Corona? No, we're talking <laughs> yeah, about Corona, New Cynthia. Yeah. But, 
There are 50, because I'm in Colorado. We drove out here on Sunday. And um, we and they asked me if I was going gonna go skiing, and we're not planning to really to see anyone or go anywhere. We're just with our we're staying at my brother in law's house, and uh, he they don't go anywhere. They haven't done anything, so it's just gonna be seeing them, and then we'll get back in the car and drive back. All right, folks, let's see. Are we missing someone? Is everybody back? Right back. All right, so my partner's back. Beautiful. It's now seven fifty five. Uh, we want to do our commercials. Then we want to get offline and we want to go to Zillow. I'm sorry, not Zillow, Google or whatever. And we want to put together a list of five actual people. You can say three to five actual people who fit the category of the three to give, three to get. And then you're going to report back to your partner of today at about 8.30 before nine o'clock. And you're, all you're doing is you're looking up these categories that you want to look up and you're finding somebody geographically local. One way that I'd like to do it is through Google Maps. Pull up Google Maps, type in physical therapy near where Hancock Park is and it'll pop all the ones. Do you guys know how to do that? Yes. You don't have to type in, you know, physical yeah. therapy Hancock Park. Just go to Google Maps, type in there and make sure the map is over the Hancock Park area or even expand it a little bit. And you'll see everybody who fits that character category. Press on that. It'll show you their name and their number. Write that down. And then do that three to five times and then report back to your partner that the job is done. And then from today until next Tuesday, we're going to call those people. Are we doing our own? categories are we doing each other's categories how are we doing you can do uh, you know i recommend you do your own so i recommend you call your own three to give three to get okay Got it. Uh, th those are the ones that are most important to you those are the ones that are going to get you money uh and refer business to you and 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 be people that you can refer to Hey, Eric, before we leave the call today, do we have time to talk about um, a couple of ideas about charity for this, maybe this quarter, or do you want to save that for the next meeting? You know, uh, what, Jimmy, do we have time? I feel like we need to, fo is it okay if we do that on next Tuesday, we'll put it into sure. the program? Because we definitely want to focus some time on that, you know, yeah. and maybe, pr maybe prepare a little bit. Maybe you want to give me a call this week and we can sort of talk yep. about I what you I just had three doing. ideas and I wanted to get from the group, whether they wanted something that was virtual, if it's just monetary or you actually want it service somewhere. Okay. Good. Well, yeah, let's, let's put that on the agenda for next week. And I'm excited that you're doing the charity director because I think that's going to, you know, that's, that's very, it just makes us all feel really good and it's very helpful. Um, and it's just a real good feel good thing that also helps people. So mm -hmm. I love that we're doing that. Thank you, Leisha. You're welcome. Beautiful. All right. So should we get into the commercials yep. now? You want to? All right. Off? All right. I, I will go ahead and I'm, I'm doing the timer, you guys. We're just doing 30 seconds, like Doug suggested last time. So I'm going to pick my first victim with that beautiful smiling face. Laisha, fire away. She knew it was coming. She knew it was coming. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm Laisha Willis, State Farm Agent in Larchmont. Really happy to be with you guys today. And um, I've forgotten my order because I don't have my screen. So I'm just going to go to who you can refer to, refer to me. So if you have anybody that's tired of talking to call centers and they want somebody that's local, friendly, office to help them with their insurance needs, that's my agency. We'd love to help them, Laisha Willis and Archmont. And um, this week I have referrals for um, Jim and for Alon. And I think that's all I have to offer. Oh, right on the button, 30 seconds. All right. So much more to offer. All right, uh, another smiling face. Let's go with John. Hey, good morning. I'm John Chadbourne. I'm with Equity Title Company. Um, I've not given any tips this week. I think I gave two the week before. Um, I my services are well, title insurance, and I provide uh, property information, lien information, um, obviously title insurance for closings of refinances and purchases. Um, person that you could refer me to would be escrow officer. And that's it. Thank you. Nice job. All right. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to got to go with Antonio on his shower curtain. Fire away, buddy. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> 
Good morning. This is Antonio D. Goodwin with Ameriprise Financial. You're a financial advisor. I specialize and work with clients to make sure they have a confident retirement. Right now, let's get ready to get to plan to get out of the quarantine. Don't wait for it now. Let's plan. Put your ducks in order. Put your dominoes in a row to get out of the quarantine. We will get out one way or the other, whether it's tomorrow or next year. But let's plan for it before it happens. Um, you can refer me to anyone who's looking for someone, financial planning or, or advisor, someone who's looking for resource regarding investments. Um, and my power, I think I've, I didn't pass one tip this week. I do have, I mean, I'm working on one tip for Cynthia, uh, possibly. Um, but uh, Antonio Goodwin, your financial advisor. All right. Got my um, coffee. See the difference? They're beautiful. <laughs> All right, Miss Cynthia, fire away. Got to unmute yourself. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, Cynthia Juno, Juno Law Offices. I, um, my work is in this group, I am the real estate attorney. So you can refer anyone who is in an escrow situation or a title situation or any kind of situation where you need legal advice. Um, landlord tenant is the Number one thing, uh, I like nice people. I like to work with nice people. Thanks. Woo, all right, nice job. All right, Mr. Flexner. I love that you say that, Cynthia, because that is so important. <laughs> you know, if it's a jerk, I, it's okay, I don't need the money. I mean, I need the money, but I, 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 don't, need, <laughs> I don't need the stress. So I love that, yes. I definitely want nice people only. Um, you know, when it comes to buying, people want emotional triggers. You know, they want something that triggers them and makes them excited and happy and fall in love with the house. When people are selling, what do they want? Money. It's all about the money. So this is how I've developed my career is focusing. How do you get them more money? Right. And um, I gave you some examples in today's showboat. Eric Flexner. Coldwell Banker. I've tipped one this last week and I am looking for a, um, I'm still looking for a CPA or a bankruptcy attorney. Thank you. Beautiful. All right, Jim, Mr. Mile High, your turn. Good morning, everybody. I'm Jim Bloomfield. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I help people with their aches, their pains, their illness, their diagnosed or undiagnosed problems that they need to get resolved before they can get back to living the best life they can live. Um, this week, I did not pass any tips. I spoke to people about uh, a number of you, probably most of you, um, specifically, I, I know I spoke about uh, Cynthia, I spoke about Jimmy, I spoke about uh, Antonio. Um, I probably mentioned Laisha somewhere along the line. Um, and I'm working on really trying to get those into qualified tips and work on my tipping muscle um, just want to let you know that a uh, uh, good power partner for me is uh, someone else in the allied health profession. So that's a chiropractor, uh, a physical therapist, a massage therapist. And that has to be someone who is interested in referring to acupuncture. Jim Bloomfield, licensed acupuncturist. Nice job. All right. So I'm all also working turn. on a tip for Jim, too. All right, go ahead, Antonio. I also, I was working on a tip for Jim as well. I forgot about that. A massage therapist for him. Cool. Hi, everybody. I'm Jimmy Green with Finance of America, your mortgage specialist. And I want you to think about while you're sitting down having that turkey dinner, whether it's in person or virtually, about your family and friends who may have worked with a, a loan officer that was a turkey. Work with me. I'm going to make it easy as a slice of pie. Like, think about it. Think of me as the gravy that makes those mashed potatoes taste so good. So while you're having that meal, think about the people around the table and think about who could use a great mortgage broker. Jimmy Green, Finance of America. That's Woo. beautiful. Can we start calling you Jimmy Gravy, please? Jimmy Gravy. Come on, can we do that, please? <laughs> Only if we can call you the Flex. Best, Vice President Jim J. Gravy. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy baby. Jimmy All right, fantastic. All right, guys, so hold next. Hold on, hold on. I, I have to report. Everybody finished under 30 seconds with exception of you, Mr. Flexner, and Jim. Where was the damn bell? <laughs> Oh, that's right. We need the bell, huh? Hold on. I have one that you up on my phone. Hold on. I use this for my meetings. Hold on. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. 
So guys, now we're going to end early. It's 8.04. So now you've got time to go do your research, go find some phone numbers, some people you can call to contact, and then reach out to your partner that you met with today and say, hey, I've got five people. And then what I would suggest, if you could, check in with them throughout the week and say, hey, how are you doing? The goal is we're all going to call at least one person a day. And let's get some more people here at the meeting. All right. Anyone hey else guys, you want to chime in on? Laisha? Really quickly, Tanisia um, texted me back and she uh, unfortunately had to take her brother into surgery today. Oh, so no. she's not here for obvious reasons, but she does plan to be here next Tuesday. Good. Great. Love her energy. All right. Any questions? And I think Liberty is in. We'll get, well, I'm not sure what happened today, but uh, it is Thanksgiving holiday. So uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk to her and then we may be uh, doing a uh, membership uh, vote next week. Hey, I'll tell you what, also, you know what, for the group, why don't we do this? You got, we all have the group emails. How about after you guys get your list of five, send an email to the group and let us know that you got a list of five people to call today. So we all know okay. who's, who's on it. That'd be great. All right. And if you have any questions, again, this is a geocentric group. We don't want to be inviting people who are in Playa del Rey because it's just too far of a drive. And frankly, you know, a lot of us don't want to drive over there if we have our, if we have to give our service. We want to be focusing on business that we want. And that is geographically here, unless, of course, you know, like uh, some people like mortgage and financial advisor and stuff like that, you're going to, or insurance, you can do that outside of the area. But we want to focus on people who are common to the area. Okay. That's why the Google Maps, I find, is, is one of the best ways to search geographically for certain businesses. So give that a when try. You mean geographic, mean they either work in the area or they live in the area. That's right. right. They need to either work or live. Gotcha. Beautiful. All right. Have some fun, you guys. We'll see you next Happy week. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Thanks Check in everyone. with your people by 9 a.m. today. Re report back. Then you can go on with your day. Have a great day. Have a great Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Don't, don't be a turkey like Jimmy Green. <laughs> be the gravy. <laughs> Jimmy G. Be the gravy. gravy G. Jimmy G. G is for gravy. <laughs> Bye. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Have a great week. <laughs>